Hi everyone, this is Group C. I'll first introduce our DA, which is an Instagram page called Rumor Buster HK. These are our group members, Johannes, Arish, Eamon, and Maria. I'll be talking about the four concepts in this presentation. So let's go through a recap of our original concept. We have actually planned to make an Instagram page to provide tips and sources to help the viewers to verify whether some things are a fact or a rumor. The target audience we have mentioned is Hong Kong Instagram users. According to nepalonecat.com, there are 58% female and 42% male Instagram users which are aged around 20 to 40 years old. Moving on, the content we plan to make is by pictures and short videos in our Instagram page, which involves a short mini clips of our tutorial or tips and tricks into identifying a rumor, which also involves infographics, list, and some interactive questions and quizzes with our Instagram viewers. Here's our content creation process. For step one, we tried to gather as much as information as we could. In step two, we have made a copyright and the design of the post. Lastly, we upload it on the Instagram page. The engagement of our Instagram page we expected was the users started to comment and messaged us telling whether if they understand how to verify the rumors. The engagement from our goats was listed to through the followers' increasement. So here's our work so far. This is the early idea of our Instagram post. So our main target was to make a similar Instagram page based on this prototype. And this is how the actual product looks like. It is already identical to the prototype. Now we will be talking about Section 3 the interaction on our Instagram page. Here's a sample of the content we produce. This post is about resources that we can use to help fact check. It has some websites that focus on fact checking. In our case, it can help when it comes to sourcing where the rumors come from. Here's another post. This time we have a simple graph that shows the distribution of fake news sources by social media. In this post, we differentiate between what is a fact and what is an opinion, as both mean different things. Here are a couple of screenshots of our comment section. There isn't much interaction, as our Instagram page is relatively new and does not have a lot of followers who provide interaction that we can record. Although these two screenshots make it seem that our Instagram page is quite poppin' as some brothers would say, we have yet to reach triple digits of followers. This recorded increase was when we decided to promote our page via word of mouth using our social media sites. When it comes to our posts, it seems that it hasn't reached anyone outside of our circle of individuals we know. From this screenshot from one of our first posts, we can see a rather limited interactions, especially with people outside of our followers. However, it seems like a reasonable amount of interactions, as during the time the screenshot was taken, we only had 19 followers. Now we will be talking about section 4, room for improvement for our Instagram page. Here are some things we learned. It is easy to create an Instagram account and post content, but it is difficult to obtain a following to interact with said content. We have a brief idea of the content creation ecosystem of Instagram. We have an insight into our own opponents, the rumor millers. We can have an idea of how they function as their operation is similar to ours. Here are some things we could have done differently. We could have produced more content and possibly gain a larger following if we had started the Instagram page earlier. We could have experimented by using features unique to Instagram, such as stories, QR codes, and Instagram reels. We could have even produced our own content, instead of only referring to other sources. If given the opportunity to expand our operation, we could use the Instagram business ad services or other third-party ad services to promote our Instagram page. We could 
contact the experts on the subjects regarding information transmission to get their opinions on more informative content. We could actually debunk some rumors or at least show their origins. Now's the time for the Q&A. Ask away. <laughs>